Brought to you by Paul Cigars. Three convenient locations in the Portland metro area. We got to talk about the last okay, talk story talk. is yeah. Michael Jordan. Jordan fans in the house. Michael Jordan, greatest basketball player of all Again. time. And you got, you got a great story about that that I always love to hear. Uh, you blocked Michael Jordan. Tell the people about blocking the greatest basketball player of all time. Well, okay, before I, before I tell you that story, because you know there's some back history to that, right? I ever tell you about the locker room story? No, tell us. A, you guys want your locker room story? Yeah, yeah. Let's hear it. So Let's hear it. I'm, I'm, I'm with the Grizzlies, and we're, and we're about to play Chicago in Vancouver. Okay. So the day before practice. Uh, by the way, just to clarify for all the youngsters out there, no, uh, the Couve, 15 miles north, did not have a basketball <laughs> no, team. No, no, no. Vancouver, Canada has yes. the Grizzlies. They moved to Memphis. And now they're in Memphis, yes. So, uh, so we're about to play Chicago. And um, after we, we practice, we're practicing, and next to us uh, in a court that we can't see, it's like closed off, Chicago is practicing. Okay, okay. And, and this uh, is like this is like Michael Jordan's like prime year. This is when they won seventy-two. Yeah, this is, yeah, this is seventy-two like, games. This is like high two. So the greatest of all time. So I go in the locker room right. after the game. I come after practice. I come out. I'm lifting weights. I'm on the bench press. Get my weight lifting on. Right. Getting stronger. Right. Feeling good. Right. I sit up from the bench press, and Michael Jordan is sitting on the bench next to me. That's wild. No, no, no. You have no no idea. No, my no. entire dorm room in college right. was Michael Jordan. Every wall no. was wall to wall. My I, I have an idea. It's just the difference that my dorm had that, uh, but the greatest dunk I ever missed was on a, a Nerf hoop that was above <laughs> my door uh, of the dorm. So I've got an idea. Yeah, I mean, Mike is he right. is the king, the guy. I don't think I moved for thirty minutes. I know he had to think I was crazy. I sat <laughs> up on the bench like this for thirty minutes. <laughs> do that to the camera. I've never seen you do puppy dog eyes. Look at that's Michael Jordan the camera. <laughs> And when I so the next night we're playing them, right. and um, we're up by I think eight points, and he goes in for a layup. I block his shot. I think I apologized like almost immediately. Like I blocked his shot, and I was like, "Hey, my bad." That's your job <laughs> to play defense. You blocked Michael Jordan, and then with your puppy dog eyes, you just said, uh, my, "My bad, my bad. Sorry, uh, I didn't know it was you." Uh, I'm tripping. How many? How many other players did that? And you think that? Oh, like, I'm telling you, I'm not the only one. Right. I've seen guys ask Michael Jordan for his shoes during the game. Hey, uh, <laughs> these are grown men. Yo, these are competitors. Right. Grown ass men. Right. That, hey, Mike, uh, at the free throw line. Yeah. Hey, Mike. Uh, so look, man, after the game, I was wondering if I could get them. Seriously? <laughs> seriously? Are you? Did you seriously just ask him for his shoes? Really? So. So, yeah. we're winning the game. Right. We're up by eight points. And uh, one of our teammates, Derek Martin, had been a in L.A. with Mike when he was filming Space Jams. It was the summer before. He, it was the summer after he filmed Space Jams. Okay. We're up eight. Mike is four for 16 from the field. He's having a really rough night. Right. So, Derek decides, because there's about 10 minutes to go in the game and we're winning, he decides to say to Michael Jordan, who's having an off night, Hey, Mike, shit's not falling tonight, Mike. You're having an off night, Mike. Really? 24 points in the last 10 minutes. <laughs> His last jump shot. This is no lie. He catches the ball in the post. He does the typical Jordan fadeaway. He's fading towards our bench. He knocks down the shot. They go up by six. He turns to the bench and says, shut up, you little bitch. <laughs> True story. Truth, and if you, it's on YouTube. You can, it's, it's. I think it's '95 Grizzlies versus you can Bulls, see it? and you can see it. It's the last shot he hits, and you see him turn to the bench, and you can't hear, you can't hear what he says. But I promise you, his words were, "Shut up, you little bitch." We go in the locker room after the game, like right. Mike has killed us. Right. Byron Scott, who's now the head coach of the Lakers was assigned to guard Michael Jordan and had been doing a great job. And then Mike lit him up for 24 points in the right. last 10 minutes of the game. He comes in the locker room. He's on fire. He walks up to Derek Martin and says, listen, don't you ever talk to the guy I'm guarding. You talk to your guy. Don't you talk. Oh, we had to break. It was almost a fight in the locker room. And Byron well, Scott's a four-degree black belt. You got to get Nate to get in there with the gloves, man. Just let him do the thing. Oh, shit, I got out the way. <laughs> By all means, feel that's free. Fan, that's fantastic. That's Tone Loke, everybody. Those are wild, wild. Those are wild stories.